Hey guys, hope everyone's day is going well. And in today's video, I'm going to be doing a 2018 edition best budget yo-yos video. All right, so I did a video on the subject about one year ago. Hey guys, I hope your day is going well. Ho, 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 holy. And based on the amount of views that I got, I figured I should do another one. So here is the 2018 edition best budget yo-yos video. Let's jump right in. So first I just want to talk a little bit about what makes a budget yo-yo for those of you that don't know. So in my opinion, a budget yo-yo is one that plays extremely well for the price that it's at. So for some of these yo-yos, the price may seem like high to you if you don't know what like a good buy metal or a good metal yo-yo is usually priced at, but the thing is, they are priced very well for how well they play. So essentially, these yo-yos play so much better than their price, and that's why I'm showing them to you guys. In addition, I want to preface this video by saying that the yo-yos that I'll be talking about in this video are solely ones that I have personally tried. Okay, so obviously there's tons of other yo-yos out there, and there probably are yo-yos that are even better than the ones that I'm going to show you in a bit. However, just remember that these are the yo-yos that I personally have tried and picked as the best ones. There are probably thousands of other yo-yos out there that could definitely be on this list that I just haven't tried out yet. So just remember that. Alright, so the first category of budget yo-yos I'm going to talk about is going to be like the best starter yo-yo. So for the absolute beginner, someone who has never ever like, you know, picked up a yo-yo and wants to, you know, learn what it's like and progress with their tricks. The number one starter yo-yo that I have that's a very budget friendly yo-yo is the Replay Pro. Alright, so this thing, it is really cheap. Right now this thing goes for $16, which for how well this yo-yo plays, it is an astonishing price. So the Replay Pro actually won the 2015 National Yo-Yo Contest. Gentry Stein used it. So this yo-yo can go all the way. I highly recommend any of you beginners out there or people that are just starting to buy it with the responsive and unresponsive bearing. That way you can upgrade. And that's a really nice feature with the Replay Pro because you can start with responsive play. It's super great for that. And as you start getting better at yo-yoing, you can put in that unresponsive bearing and you're good to go. This yo-yo can handle all my tricks. It is a really, really great yo-yo. So the second yo-yo that I would like to talk about is the Speedaholic 2. This yo-yo goes for $18, so it's just a little bit more expensive than the Replay Pro, just by $2. This is another really, really fantastic yo-yo. It plays super stable on the string, it's got a great gap width, and it's overall, I just feel like it's great for beginners and people are just starting out. I'm pretty sure that you can put also a responsive bearing into this one, so you can do the whole, you know, start with a responsive, slap in that unresponsive bearing once you're ready for it. Honestly, both of these yo-yos, the Speedaholic and the Replay Pro, are really customizable, and they're really user-friendly for people that are just starting out yo-yoing. Alright, so the next category that I want to talk about is the best budget hybrid yo-yo. For those of you that don't know, a hybrid yo-yo is one made of both metal and plastic. It gives the yo-yo usually a pretty unique feel and it just has some unique characteristics to it. So the best budget hybrid, in my opinion, is the Iceberg. I've always loved the Iceberg. It's been such a solid yo-yo to me. It's super, super rim-weighted and stable on the string. It's amazing for finger spins and just about any grind you throw at. And honestly, it plays so well. The Iceberg does go for $60, which may seem like a lot to you guys, but this yo-yo plays so much better than a $60 yo-yo. In addition, I think that the C3 yo-yo design Vapor Motion is another great hybrid yo-yo that you guys can get. This one goes for $45, so it's a little bit cheaper than the Iceberg, and this is another really fantastic yo-yo. It's amazing for finger spins, I have to say. That is probably the biggest thing about this yo-yo. It is so good for finger spins. It's really easy to get beginners to do them, and it's really easy to like lock in and stuff. It also has a really nice feel to it, and overall is just like super user-friendly and all around a great yo-yo. So those are my two favorite budget hybrid yo-yos. All right, so next we're gonna move on to my favorite budget metal yo-yo. So for me, the number one budget metal yo-yo that I have, in my opinion, is the Cadence. And so the Cadence, it honestly is so astonishing. It's made of super premium metal, which you don't see a lot in many of these yo-yos around this range. It only goes for around $55, and honestly, that is such an amazing price for this yo-yo. And, I mean, Kieran Cooper uses it, and he compl he destroys the competition with it. So, overall, this is a super, super solid yo-yo, and it plays really nice. The number two yo-yo for best budget metal yo-yos, in my opinion, was the 
Yogo Factory ND. So the ND also was very, very surprising to me. It's not made of like the super premium material that the Cadence is, but it's overall a super solid yo-yo. The shape is really, really wide, which makes it super accommodating for any like slack trick. In addition, it's also really, really good for horizontal. I was really surprised with that. And overall just has a really solid and stable feel to it. So those are my two favorite budget metal yo-yos. All right, so on to the next section, the best budget bimetal yo-yo. So do note, again, these yo-yos may seem pretty expensive, but for the fact that it's a bimetal yo-yo, it's made of two different metals, these prices are pretty cheap in the yo-yo community. Like, you don't see them a lot. So my number one pick for the best budget bimetal yo-yo is the Yo-Yo Factory Marco. This yo-yo, it's my personal competition yo-yo right now. It is honestly amazing. I was so surprised that this yo-yo is only $60 because it plays like a $100 or $120 yo-yo. It's incredibly stable, extremely catchable for all kinds of tricks. It's really, really good for horizontal and just all around is a really solid yo-yo. This is honestly one of the cheapest buy metals I've ever seen out there and I was really astounded with the price of just $60 for it. The second place for this category was the uh, Bi metal Superstar by Yo Factory as well. This one is also a super solid throw. I really like the feel of it. It's super zippy around the string, and honestly, it just like feels like a really great yo-yo. All right, so for the next category, the best budget 2A yo-yo, in my opinion, my favorite 2A yo-yo, even though I don't really do 2A that much, is the Yo-Yo Jam Unleashed. This one has always been my favorite. I've tried a variety of 2A yo-yos, and I've stuck with the Unleashed. It, it just seems to work really well with me, and the price isn't too bad for a 2A yo-yo. It feels super good to loop with, and yeah, that's, that's about it. I don't really have much knowledge about 2A since I don't do it that much. This has been my favorite 2A yo-yo I've ever tried and it has a pretty good price. For 3A, you really do want a budget yo-yo because you're gonna have to be buying two or more of these yo-yos to do 3A with. So my number one pick for the best budget 3A yo-yo was the Yo-Yo Factory Replay Pro, comes up again. Because this one, again, it's $16, it's really cheap, which is especially nice in 3A since you have to buy like two yo-yos or more if you're gonna be competing with 3A. Replay Pros in general are really like stable and really catchable yo-yos and that's really nice for 3A. They're not snaggy and overall they just play really well for 3A so those are my personal favorite 3A yo-yos to play with. If you want a metal version, the best budget 3A metal yo-yo that I have found is probably the Yotrix Cannon. Personally, I do not have a second Yotrix Cannon to try it out with but honestly I can see why it would be a really good 3A yo-yo. It's very wide, not snaggy, it spins for an extremely long time and it just has the features of a great 3A yo-yo for a cheap price. For 4A, my personal favorite is is definitely the Yoda Factory Flight. This one actually got me started on 4A Play and I've just been really pleased with it. It doesn't have too hefty of a price. I think it's around like $22 or whatever. And overall, it's just like, it's super durable. It's very long spinning and it's really, it can take you really just all the way. I'm super pleased with how the Yoda Factory Flight plays. All right, and finally, for our last category, the best budget 5A Yo, my number one choice was the Replay Pro. Again, for the third time, the Replay Pro is honestly super solid. I like that it's a really strong polycarbonate plastic, which means it won't break when you drop it. And honestly, the gap width is really nice and wide. It's super accommodating. It doesn't snag. It just has a lot of the features that a great 5A yo-yo should have. My second choice for a 5A yo-yo is the Yotrix Cannon. This one, in addition, is super solid for 5A. It has a really, it's really, really like long spinning and stable, so it doesn't get altered by how the counterweight performs. And honestly, it's just like a super solid yo-yo for 5A, 1A, or 3A. But yeah, so that is basically it for this video. I'll have all the links to these yo-yos in the description. Wow, it's, it's gonna be a lot of work. But yeah, I'll have all the links to these yo-yos in the description. I think you guys should definitely check some of the ones that you're interested out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you did, be sure to leave a like. And also, if you guys are new here and haven't seen my videos before, definitely hit that subscribe button because I post videos just about every single week. That is it for my video. I hope you guys all have a great rest of your day. And I'll see you next time. Peace. Well, that was really awkward. Peace.